Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone and Feimir. Hello. Hello, fans of La Lucha Libre. I'm back for so your reasons to keep alive. I've improved a lot. Welcome to Monday Night Claw, because it's Monday somewhere. <laughs> Hello, JFW Universe. Hello, Jim. Hello, Vermeer. Oh, baby, Monday Night Claw with Vermeer back. This is the real deal. How we missed him. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Glorious, isn't it? It's definitely Monday, guys. Don't question it. It's 100% Monday. <laughs> exactly. And we have here uh, the first match, the three aspects of uh, the three kingdoms, the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, and the rock kingdom, because Bulk is... Thick as a rock, Chanter has no feelings, and Chimp is a beast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we've got Extreme Rules coming on Sunday, and that's going to be glorious in the extreme, isn't it? Glorious in the extreme. Oh. I didn't. I did that by accident, but yeah. So, uh, so, so excited for that, and uh, I, I'm going to ask you endlessly tonight, like the the implications of these matches for that gym. So. Uh, do, how much of the card do we have ready for, for Extreme Rules? Remind us all of that. Well, a little yes. birdie has, has, has told me all of the matches. But um, what we should probably do is maybe tomorrow, Fimeer and I could do a could do a, like a YouTube video for it. Right? Yeah, no problem at all. Glorious. Shall I reveal it now, what it is? Just so, just so you know the matches. Oh, is this, is this a... Is this a triple threat for the Wemdo title? It's not oh, no, for he's defending the... on Sunday. He's yeah, defending, yeah, of it's non-title. He's defending on Sunday versus an unknown right. opponent. Um, Wait, Extreme Rules is this Sunday? It's this Sunday, yeah, 26th. Whoa, man. <laughs> it's crept up on us, hasn't it, a little bit? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around uh, 8 p.m. Uh, UTC, as usual? Yep. There you go. Yeah, we've got. Well, we've got the bread mask uh, defending his title in like a triple threat versus the only people who've managed to beat him in the last in the last like six weeks. <laughs> um, we've got the glorious ones putting the title on the line versus dress for business. We've got Thor taking on JBG for the uh, well JBG taking on Thor for the world title. We've got Goliath and Pepper Biscuits in a in a Clash of the Titans match, and then we've got Rick Reckless taking on Night Demon for the EAB Championship. Wow. Oh, but before that, all of them have to survive this week. <laughs> yeah. And he comes to ring Chanter, the most hated coach in Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Yes, guys, we <laughs> we just buy this copycat yeah, I, here. I was kind of hoping for a for a chunter promo, Jim. Today, I'm I'm a little disappointed. I know I was. It'd be great, wouldn't it? I'd love I'd love to see some chunter promos, to be honest. <laughs> he does look gloriously golden. It, it, it hasn't completely translated into results, has it? The Golden Rat, sadly. Um, he, he often puts in a very good performance, but the end result isn't always there. Chip, who doesn't like the chip? Glorious bit of chimp. <laughs> been, a, been a while since we've seen the chimp. Uh, rumor has it that they're ten times stronger than man, so a uh, li little bit of an advantage going in here. Yeah, but that's... Oh, yes. That's a normal man. These are JFW athletes, so you know True. it's uh, you won't have that much of an advantage, if any, versus. Uh, <laughs> well, to be fair, we've got a giant rat and a beast man, so <laughs> who knows? Who knows how much stronger they are than a normal man? Well, Volk certainly has literally displayed that he's more powerful than he used to be. Right, the, the blessings of chaos are certainly upon him. Yep. Ch Chunter a little bit more about the speed and agility, but definitely got his uh, fair share of strength. All right, I Ravel. We'll have no clever asses here. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, getting ready. <laughs> and they're off. 
So uh, wow. Volk's been on an absolute tear with the Wemdope champion. He's easily the best Wemdope champion we've had in, in months and months. Um, it'd be interesting to see if in a triple threat that isn't for the title, if maybe his motivation's a little bit low. That's a good question. Well, <laughs> question is, yes, he needs to be careful because he has to fight this uh, Sunday. So yeah. meanwhile, Chanter, see, that's the kind of shy that everybody hates Chanter. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've missed a meme here. Why Vermeer doesn't like Chanter? Something's passed me by. <laughs> I don't say that I don't like him. I think he's the most hated uh, Blood Bowl coach. Sorry, why everybody doesn't like Chanter then, apparently. <laughs> as a Blood Bowl coach, as a Blood Bowl coach, I mean, how many times have you heard the line? Fucking chanter in a Blood Bowl <laughs> game involving chanter. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Well, like, he to, plays very to, to aggressively, honest, doesn't he? And then he puts you under yes. the cosh and then and then you hit all of his players and you don't break any of his armor, and then he makes all of his three plus dodges. <laughs> <laughs> like, on on Elliot's channel there might be a fair few flipping chanters to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean if there is a coach, I would never want to play a game. No, oh. sir, this will be probably chanter. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's on a tear here. Absolute knockout to uh, to Hubris Chimp. Oh. Uh, shoulder breaker on Volk. He might have it. Mm. Oh, Volk has the beast power there, the powers of chaos. Oh, okay. <laughs> and cheap surgery powering him. Oh, dear. Oh. A fair <laughs> few misses here. Yeah, it's been a bit of a cluster flick. <laughs> 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 oh man. Volk steaming in. Yeah, he's uh, he's taking control again now with Chimp on the outside trying to recover. But yeah, he might might hold something back in this one, try and keep himself as fresh and fit as possible for Sunday. That would be the smart thing to do, but this is Volk for goal. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I mean uh... He has, you know, doing the smart thing. Oh, the horn! <laughs> wow, Chimp's going to be out for a while after taking those horns to the face. Whoa. Oh, oh chanted out. Doesn't want the win yet. Yeah, may maybe I'm totally barking up the wrong street here. Volk, very, very confident. And it could well be that the blessings of chaos that are upon him give him uh, a special recovery abilities as well. Like, he might take a beating tonight and be absolutely fine for Sunday. We don't quite know what those uh, chaos abilities are. Absolutely. Oh my god, Chunter is flipping the uh, <laughs> ring <there. laughs> And he's got in. Uh, next match, J5. <laughs> oh, here we go. What a manoeuvre. The Achimpic Slam. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, nearly there. I mean, let's not forget that the Chimp is a true professional, has been in the ring many, many times. He knows how to save energy, when to invest, when to get punched in the face. <laughs> oh, that could be it. Devastating. Yeah, complete. Suplex of sort. Complete. I think he's got this. Oh, oh you wow. need more. You need more to take it on the Chimp. Yep, using all that uh, extra strength there just to get his arm up. Volk lay across him, but look at the strength of Volk. Oh. Chaos greater than ape confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh the ref! Oh, Chanter takes down the ref! <laughs> Lip in Chanter, says the ref. <laughs> He's doing a number on Volk here. Volk's been uh, dominating this match for a while now, getting a taste of his own medicine. The right cross. Oh! Oh! oh. But there's Chanter no going for the cheap shots. The ref only just come round just in time. That's it. Got it. That's wow. it. That's exactly. Now you see. Now you see. I I think he did lie down there. I, I don't think there's any way Volt was ready to be finished. He's hardly taken any damage during the match. I think he said, right, that's enough. We wait for Sunday. Maybe. Oh. Are you saying that Borg has so few dignity that he chose to lose on purpose? Jesus. 
<laughs> I mean, that's not that's not how a champion is uh, behaves. You've just got to look at him to see how much dignity he's got. <laughs> well, yes, yes. I mean, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Yes, yes. Volt qualified for the last blitz bit and then went and did a, a Saturday evening quiz instead of uh, instead of partaking so you know he's, he's got he's got form let's say he's got form for this kind of behavior <laughs> disgusting <laughs> really i mean qualifying for the blitz speed involves yeah. you know so a lot thor, of and a... thor who just knocked me out and qualified for blitz bit got through to the last blitz bit by losing to volk in the final of the qualifiers <laughs> and then and then replacing him when uh, when volk pulled out yeah But, uh, yeah, I was gonna say. I tell you what, I was wrong about Chunter. Brought it all tonight and got the result. Yeah, the golden boy of the JFW, maybe. <laughs> Will that mean he'll be taking on Volk on Sunday? You'll have to tune in to find out. But next up, we've got two uh, two monster tag teams here. We've got the Unnatural Snackers and Quad Skulls. What a match! What a match! <laughs> Diabetes versus Elliot <laughs> and friend. <laughs> if if uh, anyone ever tags in, <laughs> otherwise, just versus Elliot. <laughs> yeah. Well, we might uh, see yeah, new nice tactics. See, uh... You know, we, we we don't know if they might put in Jack Bull first or Space Cadet might lead the way. <laughs> you know, we don't know. We no, don't no. know that it's going to be Elliot in first. You never know. It's it's nice to see uh, Quad Skulls having their own uh, match here and not just having to kind of back up Rick with uh, six feet down under. Yeah. Yes, and it's also good to see the snackers with Muppet Pac-Man. Probably they found him in the supermarket looking for his daddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe found him in an Indian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's in the, a long in joke. In the buffet. It's a long in joke. If you don't get that, I do apologise. But you know, Dimmy will know, and people, people who watch that Among Us stream. <laughs> but you know, best not to go into it, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, let's let's get to the match. Booing! I think they're booing the snackers. Well, that's just how popular the Quad Skulls are, of course. You know, it's uh, it's amazing. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. But who also, could be as popular it, it, as these guys? Look at this. It, it is rumoured that they've started buying their snacks from Lidl now, rather than one of the uh, the major <laughs> supermarkets. Oh, shots being fired here. Disgusterous. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean, I mean he's in regular, yes, for sure, cut in the fine. Generally on stand firm rather than Monday Night Claw. Ah, there he, there he come. <laughs> Clearly a not gluten free group here. <laughs> So talking about Dimi, there is a lot of jokes, memes and all that about a banana and Dimi. Can anyone explain that to me? Uh, Dimi keeps his bananas in a cage in his kitchen. <laughs> For some reason he keeps them in like, in a cage. <laughs> and Johnny Five finds it very amusing. It is, it's, it's like, I have no words. <laughs> I guess to be fair, like Dimmy ends up on his kitchen floor enough as it is. If his bananas potentially were slipping him up as well, he'd never be standing. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. Yes. Dimmy <laughs> always has problems with playing Super Mario Kart. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's all. Yeah. He has all kinds of producing cages. <laughs> Even when they're wearing short, as different things in cages. <laughs> <laughs> Spacecat looking very serious here, his mind whirring. <laughs> no, that, that plan is already etched out. 
<laughs> Cadet ready oh, to God, enter the it. ring at some point. <laughs> oh, Elliot is oh, there. You go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, test of strength of J5. You wouldn't fancy him to win this, but he's not doing badly. No. Impressive. Oh, the cheap shot. Oh, cheap shot. Cheap shot there. <laughs> wow. Oh, Johnny's hungry. Mm. <laughs> yep, Elliot already paying the price now. Nice counter, though. Kicks his way back up. Early tag, no. He wants to keep fighting. Or at least, or maybe he's under order to. <laughs> oh, mm. Nice, all the weight of Elliot behind that one. Talmud here by Elliot. Unless somebody was really watching, they probably couldn't confirm, but I swear Elliot just did a little wanker sign over 25 then. <laughs> that's common in the JFW, to be honest. Is it? <laughs> I don't know why, that's the first time I noticed. <laughs> Space looks part werewolf. Yeah, I don't know, I just thought he would be. <laughs> I think, I don't know if he put in, I don't know if he like put, you know, I don't know if he uh, gave feedback that that's how hairy he should be or not. If I just thought he should be that hairy. But, yeah, uh, Jackball in the ring. I mean, he's not adverse to fighting, is he, Jackball? He is, he's kind of the muscle. We say Elliot's the spirit, Space is the brains, and uh, Jackball's the brawn of these three. So it makes sense for him to, to get involved now. Elliot's already worn down J5 a little bit, yeah. having him punch his face. <laughs> oh, yeah. and now I'm up it. Coming into his own. He's been a bit anonymous since uh, losing the Plimpon Plusa weight title, but now he's back with the Snackers. Glorious. Back in action. Yeah, he took a bit of time out, didn't he? Just uh, stayed in their corner a little bit. But yeah, actually, in the match today, it's great to see him. What a legend he is. Absolutely incredible wrestler. <laughs> is Muppet better at Among Us or WWE 2K19? We may never know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank good he doesn't kill as many people in, J in JFW as he does in Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a, what a sponge. Yeah, he is. He's the athlete. is uh, is Jackball, and here we go. <laughs> here we go. The legend. The legend of the ring. Muppet the Space Cadet. <laughs> Space has decided that Muppet's ready for the pin, so he tags in. <laughs> yeah. Waits until the smallest opponent is beaten down <laughs> before <laughs> making his appearance. <laughs> Yeah, J5. Though to be fair, Jack Ball also is known for doing some press ups in the middle of a raid or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, there we go. Space finally getting some offense in. He was uh, taking a bit of a beating there. Gonna bring Muppet over to the uh, to his corner. Snap may take down. Whoa. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Brutal failure! Yeah, very, very quick, isn't he, Muppet? Yeah, how he, how he managed that after the spear he took a moment before. Incredible. Space could be in trouble. Oh, Space. he could be in trouble! Oh. Space is always in trouble. <laughs> that was a, Not was a that six, a six one, one three. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He wants to do it. Well, he wants to do one. Oh, Space counter by one. Space Cadet going. <laughs> if you're going to do a 619, do it to Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here comes the human punch bag. Nice neck breaker, though, from Elliot. Great start. Wow, he's uh, excellent at dropping those knees. Oh, tries to stop the tag. Does eventually. Look at nearly snuck one in there. But well, Muppet managed to counter. <laughs> oh, 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 here no. we go. Space straps paying off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Will anyone break up this pin? Will he pin? He isn't pinning. He's not pinning. Wow. Gets counted for his troubles. Might regret that. Oh, wow. What a move from him. Really nice. I, I wonder if he can only do that against someone of Muppet's size, and that's why we don't normally see that. Yeah, maybe. 
And again, okay. a space cadet when things look easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely beaten up enough this time. Give me the tag. <laughs> <laughs> and he really is Muppets in a bad way. Oh, oh, my, God. oh my God. The line in the legendary speed of Muppet. Does Muppet have the best abs in the JFW? Can he just eat those spears as if they're nothing every time? <laughs> it does seem that way. Oh, Jack Bull easily breaks it up. Right, team player <laughs> is Jack Bull. Jeff just destroys the ref. <laughs> but Jack Bull destroyed by uh, Muppet Man. Yeah, Muppet made him pay for preventing him getting the win. Are we finally going to see Satatoad in action? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nearly, and he just hopped down and went, no thanks. <laughs> Oh, immediate count from space. Nicely done. Satterfield probably has some ale to drink. He doesn't want to want to risk spilling it by having a fight. Right. <laughs> space actually able to follow up a spear. Now it isn't Muppet. Yeah. Oh, going to oh. the top. Top rope. Top rope for a space cadet. Oh, oh no. Oh. Complete disaster. <laughs> Took too long. J5 too fresh after his rest. Oh face plant space. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this looks bad. No, space oh, cadet. Wow. Space cadet not prepared to be J5's next snack. Says if he's going to do that kind of thing, Elliot can come in. <laughs> yep. J5 and Muppet both taking a lot of uh, damage here. They could definitely do with Sapfield in. Yeah, he's got to, got to get the tag. Lots of girls have been tagging nice and routinely. Oh, all all of game. them. Oh my goodness, he's oh. getting rowdy. <laughs> oh so my. rowdy. <laughs> oh, fight back though from J5. Not for long. You can't keep a rowdy man down. Oh, my word. Oh, oh, oh. To the top rope for Elliot. Is he ready? <laughs> He's going to be able to do it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what a disgrace. <laughs> Elliot not taking enough damage from the opposition decides he's got to punish himself. Oh, no. <laughs> well, he's fighting back really well. That, that looks so incredibly painful. He's recovered well. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Nearly taking it into the fans. Oh, we're at a six count. Oh, smash him at the steps. Yeah, if he just gets in the ring, this could be a sneaky count out win. It could be. Oh, 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 he's gonna do it! Yeah, this Counts is out for like three. Win. That's gotta be it. Eight. Elliot, yeah, chilling. Yes. Nine. He's not Nine. even gonna win. Space Cadet's plan is perfect again. <laughs> <laughs> again, go the schools get the victory. Oh man. Oh man, the snackers. The snackers' enemy is the count out for sure. <laughs> oh, and as again, the quad school's plan of letting Elliot doing every single thing pays again. <laughs> Rowdy. Look at Jack Bull celebrate <laughs> all the work he put into that victory. <laughs> <laughs> teamwork, absolutely teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Skulls are on a tear, aren't they? They smashed up six feet down under. Now they've conquered the Snackers. Yeah, very impressive. Oh, God. Now we've got... Satterfield didn't even get in the ring, did he? Unbelievable. Nope. 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 But now we've got two of the biggest names in the business. <laughs> the, uh... One of the biggest bodies. Yeah, the CCL finalists try. He's a Except bit for his sus. package. 
<laughs> yeah, he's got, his, he does, got a tiny package. <laughs> he does have a small package, but Goliath's got a massive one. Four. <laughs> Who's going to be there? Yeah, this is good, isn't it? It's small package versus massive package. <laughs> <laughs> Frosty. Not tonight, for No, I think Friday we'll have we'll have the Scousers in action versus the crew that C R capital E W E. <laughs> Bizzle. Bizzle? I don't know. Bizzle. Here he comes, Yeah, on an absolute tear through the chalice. Nothing can stop him. A live game. Yeah. And defeated on chalice. Amazing. But uh, Goliath Games, the, the inform superstar of the JFW right now. He's, he's beaten the biggest and the best over and over again in recent weeks. And we haven't even seen Try lately, so uh, i got to say, for me, Goliath Games are a big favourite. Yep. <laughs> Only Tries my leap in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Tries odds as small as his package. <laughs> oh, Trent. <okay. laughs> really, Devil? Holy shit. Well, in that case, Goliath, I'm not surprised Goliath's fully banned. There you go, here comes. <laughs> Goliath game. Getting ready to wreck. <laughs> I don't know which gets me hot and steamy here. His entrance or his actual in-ring wrestling, they are both impeccable. <laughs> Big man, small package challenge. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. <laughs> Random gigantic scar. <laughs> <laughs> What's the story behind that scar? We don't know. It's the only thing that affects the perfection. That is a Goliath game. <laughs> oh, baby. Try even want to attempt to pin. Live games on the mat. That's a good question, isn't it? He 100% wants to get Goliath in the mat, but who's over who? That's another Glorious. story. <laughs> no, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. Oh, there you go, Goliath Games dropping the soup bomb. Getting the favor of the public Ooh. here. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Glorious. Guys. What an absolute No, legend. I won't give in. Thank you Until so I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Wow, oh, good kick. Less is a try. Yeah, getting his leg all the glorious. way up there. It, it does no, help I when you're not hindered in. by... Until I'm leg. victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will yeah, defend. No, no, no Let point. me just alter Goliath's stats. <laughs> 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 a groin Glorious. to strain, that terrific. No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. Oh, I'm powering back now, and though. I will defend. Belly to oh, belly. I will defend. And what a belly. Brutal. Now, oh, back and forth. Glorious. No, I won't Run give in until I'm victorious. <laughs> Try to and get I some advantage defend. here. I will defend. Oh, oh, small package. A small package. package. There you go. There you go. One. Two, no! Glorious. Oh, no, I won't oh, give package. in Oof. until oh. I'm victorious. That's a very small package. And I will Try defend. normally saves it for later. I will defend. Oh my god! So Throwing a Goliath game is like it's nothing. 
glorious. Thank you very much, Tom Schnuster, fantastic for 22 glorious months. And yeah, thank you so much, Goliath, for, for the five gifted subs, 135 now, all time. Wow. Unbelievable. Thank you so, so much. That's it, Jimmy. Finally, you have money to buy cages for your food. <laughs> yeah, I can buy a cage for my bananas. <laughs> No more having to uh, eat stuff on the day you buy it in fear that it might escape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, you can sleep in peace. <laughs> oh, terrific going for the humiliation here. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, you don't want to anger the beast. He's going to pay in a minute. Just a one count. That says it all. There we go. Ah, there you go. Off is him off. <laughs> oh. oh, epic close line there. Oh, camel clutch. This could be it. Oh man. How'd you get someone of uh, Goliath's size and strength off you? Wow, you go for the ankles. Oh well, seems Trifik has been in that situation many times. <laughs> in trouble already. Oh, oh, oh. The strength of Goliath games we've seen is absolutely phenomenal. Outstrengthing Zug the other week. Yeah. Just incredible. Well, well, Mighty Zug is not what he used to be. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, if you get ready to fly. <laughs> Oh, the knee yeah, try really putting in work here. This could uh, be close. Does get a two. Try is a former champ, to be fair. He's no slouch. This is, you know, this no, is a big he's, test for Goliath. He's fantastic. Yeah, if it, if it wasn't for the recent form of Goliath games and uh, Try's ring rusting us, I'd, I'd say had a very, very good chance. Oh, but the half crab. <laughs> oh, the devastating half crab. <laughs> We've seen it end matches before. Oh, I thought he was tapping. Now he fights his way out again. <laughs> yes, Tom Schnizio. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll be known as two move try after uh, after Sunday. <laughs> oh, cheating bastard! <laughs> I suppose this is the turnbuckle. There we go, he uses oh. it! He actually uses it! Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable. Like That's how you get undefeated on this CCL. This yeah. could be it. This really could be it. Real games in trouble here. Oh, but no! Wow. Oh, oh slam! This could be it! <laughs> oh! Huge! One! Two! No! Oh, oh no. so close! Well, I can't believe it. Not many people kick out of that. Following up the choke slam with a plain old choke. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's going to give it to try. Show him what a real package is. Oh, <laughs> getting wrecked there. The wrong way. Here we go. Let's try. The scissor kick. Ping, whatever it is. Is this it for Goliath? Oh, it can be. I refuse to believe. There you go. Wow, amazing. He kicked out of that on the two. That's that's genuinely very impressive. But he's still in a lot of trouble. Try from the top. Gets <laughs> oh, in. Double massive angle. hit. Oh, my word. Twisting the head nearly off. Goliath Games taking so much punishment. He's, he's definitely been on the receiving end more than he has the giving. Mm. <laughs> uh, still, still no prize, no cigar for Trific. But it's just a matter of time he keeps doing this. He's cheating again! Oh, another, another, oh my goodness! Another third mark. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, if he worked the first time, do it again. No wonder he's in the uh, the chalice final. 
Do you think the stove feet treatment? Yeah, no, no sweltering heat oh. in the JFW, so tries oh. main advantage gone. <laughs> oh! They both got busted open! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, crazy back and forth. I think Try got busted open. Goliath Games 100% did. Mm -hmm. We've seen Bruce coming in here and now got here trying again. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Absolutely crunched onto the apron. If Try was a bit fresher before, he isn't anymore. <laughs> Beats the count. Ref fixing the turnbuckle. Oh, sneaky for a Goliath Games. Two can play at tries games, and he's really stunned. Try it here. This could be it. Yeah, Goliath can find a choke. Oh, he's too tired. He's too tired. Trial recovered. No. <laughs> oh, takes oh, a ref. Ref oh, down. No. Ref down, so there is no count now. But... Goliath doesn't seem very worried about this because now... Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. That's there it. is no way. There is no way Trific uh, can recover from that. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. True champion. Clearly, Trific has been uh, planning how to fight the Black Orcs of Andy Davo. <laughs> yeah, well... Oh, the sidewalk slam. Tries in a David Goliath matchup on Sunday, and now he's fighting Goliath right now. There you go. Oh, oh if he go. lands this, if he lands this, it's all over. Nobody has kicked out of this for months. It has devastated Oof. the JFW. GG. The Goliath Games reign continues. Unbelievable. <laughs> Incredibly impressive run from Goliath. Every single time Goliath gets busted open, every single time he wins. <laughs> Incredible. There's no stopping him. There you go, you know, some as far as I there. The kind of sportsmanship that Tri will undoubtedly show when Andy wins Chalice as well. He's, he's a legend. <laughs> 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 Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yep, can't argue with that. <laughs> and now we've got Frosty versus Rick. What a match this is. Rick, another expert about uh, having cages in his house. <laughs> yeah, these are dog cages though. <laughs> yes. Those cages scream at night. <laughs> if you don't keep anything alive, you have no need for cages, guys. Let's not be silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so, uh, in interesting side note on this match. Frost Lord Army recently becoming the, uh, the streamer champion. Getting yeah. it off, Rick. Yeah, a massive, a massive performance from Frosty uh, for the streamer title. Now, that is of course not not uh, competed for on Claw or Stand Firm, but did pick up that huge win. Uh, Rick was the previous stream title holder, and Frosty won it in a massive six-man. Oh, so there is there is something personal in this fight. Yeah. Frosty, absolutely pumped up. The public loving this Brexit supporter here. <laughs> Brexit means Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> I think he got a, a big win against Thor just before Thor became champion as well over on Friday Night Stand Firm. So, uh, yeah. Good point. Can definitely get it done. And here comes the favorite of the people. Oh, oh baby. Here is Rick Grayless himself. 
Going into the main event on Sunday, finally trying to reclaim his long lost title from Night Demon. When but his he's in shape. Broken. He's in shape. He'll be ready. Now, this is the final test. He's certainly been doing okay again in recent weeks. I think we've started to see him get back to his best, and uh, it sure helped last week that Quad Skulls had his back. Obviously taken out the week before by Gengar. Jackal taking the chair to Gengar last week to make sure that didn't happen again. And look at the fans loving him. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, I realized try I should have had Rick versus Try and Frosty versus Goliath, but never mind. I'd already okay. made the card then and I thought I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I know, try if only, if only. <laughs> In another universe. Oh, we can't get him down. Look at the strength of Frostlord Army. Absolutely powering through Rick early. Complete disdain. Oh, but the Rick has the speed. He does. Side Russian leg sweep can take down even the biggest foe. <laughs> Sorry, oh, oh, surely. No, no, he can't do it. He can't do it. Rick's back. Ooh. Wow. Does Frosty weigh more than Night Demon? I, I suspect so. There seems to be a bit more height on uh, Night Demon's put together for sure, but Frost Lord's tall as well, isn't he? Yeah, but as Rick will tell uh, you himself, dead flesh weights more than uh, life. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Oh, inverted atomic drop, doing the business. Yeah, this oh. is more like it from Rick. Needs to use his leverage and his athleticism. Needs to stop trying to do the big power lifting moves. Exactly, leave those to the professionals. <laughs> <laughs> and now time to get over the ropes, no? Getting out. Oh, he gave Frosty too long. Frosty coming back now, clubbing blows. Again, the speed of Rick getting him on top. Oh, wild swing and a miss though from Rick. Here comes Frosty. There is a price to pay for that mistake. Oh, God, wow. he's destroyed his knees. I don't know why he thought that was a good idea. <laughs> Port your rack rib breaker? I've never seen that before in my life. I, I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there very well, but it seems the frost is being control. <laughs> yeah, I don't think whoever invented that move thought it through. <laughs> <laughs> We've taken a, a bit of a beating, though. No, there we go. Straight away, as soon as I say it with the comeback. And again, using the speed and leverage to get Frostlord down rather than lifting. Rick is getting ready for something here. It's a pin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frosty, yeah. <laughs> like, at least with, uh, you know, the Tombstone Pile Driver and that, they're falling on their head as well, aren't they, in Kayfabe? I don't <laughs> understand what what the point of that move is other than just <laughs> the dude just falls to his knees and fucking wrecks himself Rick making Frosty kick out and kick out and kick out wearing down the stamina <laughs> here we go again he's taking the mounting position showing a little bit of Choking. MMA skill here chucking the life out of Frosty but Frosty has no oh. life <laughs> yeah count as him <laughs> Oh, Rick got the lift that time. Big stomp to the chest. Oh, he's going up top. Oh, Rick is going to fly. Rick is going to fly. Is it the Rick roll? Oh, it's something. The top rope flipped me, I think. That could be it. Ooh. Wow, massive kick out from Frosty. Yeah. Frosty oh, no. managing. This is to the stay in the fight. Oh, this is yep. it. Whoa! Oh. Oh. This cool bit. <laughs> what a maneuver! He says, "See you on Sunday night, Demon." 
This oh. is what you got to wait for. How has he kicked out of that? How has he kicked out of that? Top rope, Rick roll. Top rope, flip me. Top rope, Rick roll. <laughs> that is just not possible to kick out of. Well, it just happened. So, yes. <laughs> Big trouble for Rick here if he don't manage. Oh. 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 Goodness me, the speed of Rick is something else. Frosty struggling to keep up with it, but countering there. Nice big elbow. Can he use his power? Yes, he can. Frosty needs to do something. And Frosty's pedigree finish is so powerful. Um, he doesn't have to do all that much before it to get a pin, and I think that's exactly what we're going to see. <laughs> oh, here we go. Rick could be finished. Pedigree. 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 One, One, two, two. Oh. no, no. We do not see many kick out of the pedigree. Yeah, it takes Maybe, a lot Frosty. To put Rick away, it? Maybe Frosty has the pedigree, but the Rick is a poor breed. <laughs> and now Frosty is trying to get the Rick down again. Oh, tosses him on. We're seeing a lot of outside action, probably, you know, people training, preparing for extreme rules where yeah. anything goes. Mm -hmm. That'll be a good one. Weapons galore as well, of course, on the day. Yeah, nice to see some uh, outside concrete action and Rick is eating all the damage here. Frosty making leaps and bounds to bring himself back into this one. Hurts his hand hitting Rick, he's hitting him that hard. <laughs> oh, we can't lift him! He's an expert at fighting outside, but Rick is an expert at fighting everywhere. Oh, seven count now. Oh, Rick gets him back in the ring. No, it just happens sometimes, Ice Cream Matthew. It doesn't really make any sense. Just sometimes they just fail to pick people up. Yeah. Going back to making Frosty kick out again was never going to get the win there, but just tiring Frosty out, showing him who's boss. He's tired. He's tired. He wants to finish this. Oh my god. So Hitting the wound. It's brutal from there. Oh, crucifix. Power bomb. Oh, That's no. got to be it after the damage Frosty took earlier from the top rope maneuvers. Boom. Whoa. Rick with the pin, gotta be. There we go. One, uh, two, two. No way. No way. Absolute incredible endurance by Frosty here. Another Rick roll, maybe. Could be. No, oh, oh. What a counter by Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then Rick with the jawbreaker. The punches and the kicks. Oh, oh but a head massive head. headbutt with the mask of Frost Lord Army. And then Rick with Frosty's blood in his hands. Holy shit. <laughs> Rick used to handling uh, Frosty heads, of course. This is nothing <laughs> new to him. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> Frost is actually struggling here to break the pin. Yeah, I was wondering if we were going to get a, a tap or something. Oh my goodness, the, oh, flip, me. the flip me. Flip me, pal driver, that's got to be it. Oh! No. Incredible, no. absolutely incredible. No. Rick can't believe it. He has his, every single of his beast moves Top on Frosty. Top rope brick roll. The crucifix power bomb, and now the regular flip me, and Frost Lord Army is kicked out of all four. I don't think I've ever seen that before in the JFW. What did he eat for breakfast this morning? Well, I can assure you, he doesn't take steroids. Definitely, definitely not steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Another crucifix Another power bomb. This has got to be it now, hasn't it? This has got to be it. The blood. Oh, oh my Frost god, all the blood. That's really good. What an effort this has been. Two, 
There we go. And that's it. That's it. Finally, Rig a tips victory. <laughs> Nearly collapses on the mat afterwards. It took that much out of him. He literally does have the blood dripping down his throat. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Santa covered it in blood. <laughs> That's a clear message to Nike Demon. That was unbelievable. Good air cocky. Just in time for your match, in fact. Oh, Captain Diffman, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. The, the body is still warm, Captain Diffman. The body is still warm. <laughs> It was such a slow count, though, wasn't it? From that, and I think that helped uh, Frosty kick out. It was such a, it was. Such a delayed was. reaction from the right. Still incredibly impressive, but yeah, that definitely played a part. Oh, well, well, well. Night Demon. I'm sure he's been watching this uh, fight, taking notes. Same way Rick will be watching the epic battle between Tony Place Foley versus Night Demon in tonight's main event. Yeah. <laughs> but before that, there is still much to do and much to see here. And now comes Dance Dance Revolution versus Cock and Ball Storch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, CVT have picked up where they left off after losing the titles, to be honest. They've still been pretty dominant. But Dance Dance Revolution have finally put a, a great run of results together. And uh, I guess whoever's going to win this is going to be top of the top of the list of challenges to the, uh, for the tag team belts, I guess. Wow, Shawnee with the raid. Welcome, Shawnee viewers. Uh, we, we do actually respond to chat in this stream as well, so you're in for a treat. <laughs> <gasps> oh, well, first of all, Army, we were making, you know, a better comment of your performance. You were able to perform at all. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Thanks, Shawnee. Gigantic raid from Shawnee. What were, you, what were you playing? Were you doing some chess or something, Shawnee? <laughs> <laughs> Probably that explains what you read were three people, Shawnee. Yeah. <laughs> Weakness of attention. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm not so bad, thanks, Cody. Not so bad. Well, here we go. Dank Tanks Revolution with a, a big win last week. Yeah, they've had a few, they've strung a few wins together. Yeah, yeah, they've uh, they've started to find their forte. But uh, and of course, they're going up the mountain. Cockerball Torches, sadly, he's somewhat coming down. The the greatest tag team champions of all time have lost their titles, have lost again since then. So they they're trying to uh, turn the flow around, as these guys are riding the gravy train. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Well. Let's not forget that these guys are some of the best at Blood Bowl. Which is not saying much, but it's saying something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, PTK, I'll give you the greatest of all time at Blood Bowl. A game with literally dozens of play different players. <laughs> dozens of different players. <laughs> from all over the world. <laughs> God, I'd love to see. I'd love to see PTK at a tournament wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> the next NAF tournament, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be incredible. <laughs> and now comes CBT with Sheila. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Sheila at a NAF tournament either, to be <laughs> Wouldn't like to see Moradam at one. <laughs> I, I was nah. going to say, the thing is, with Sheila comes cock and ball torture. So <laughs> you really have to weigh that one up a little bit there. Yeah. 
Here we are, always optimistic, always full of confidence. CBT, what a message for the young people that are watching this. Never give up, never surrender. Never stop the torch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to see who wins this one. Both of these with the Glorious Ones in their sights. Uh, that is, of course, if the Glorious Ones exit this Sunday as the champions. Yeah, be a stern test, rest of business. Being on they were fire. Always, always seeming to play second fiddle to, to cock a ball torture, but yeah, dress of business have taken it up another level since the Glorious Ones became champions. Oh. PDK, what a move. <laughs> Cocky, Cocky was not like, bothered, is he? No, not bothered oh. at all. That that didn't hit my genitals. I'm fine. Next. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, BTK throwing around Cocky like he's nothing. He has got incredible strength, PTK, but he does run out of steam. He will need to make a tag fairly soon. And he can make a big impression again later. Oh, Zetok trying to come in, in fact. <laughs> more, than, more than was trying to intervene, but they work on now, yes. Zetok enters the ring. Mm. This oh. is the kind of tag teaming that has got them the victories in recent weeks and PTK dropping down on Cocky as he lays prone outside, dearie me. I can imagine PTK going oh, Cocky. <laughs> Cocky is used to suffer pain at the inhuman levels so this is just the warm up for him Yeah, he's won some incredible 2 on one matches as Cocky Unbelievable and well, of that's course, that's what the... this is so far. We've not seen Maradam at all. Yeah. Uh, let's keep it, try to keep it that way. <laughs> yeah, I think the only person I've involved in more two versus one or three versus one matches has been Elliot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, finally fighting back. So much he's taken. He really needs to find Moradam, but that's a lovely suplex from Cocky. Yeah, now, the there you go. Zetok, watch your balls, mate. <laughs> yep. Oh, magnificent dodge there by the Goblin. And now on the offensive. Oh, belly to belly from Zetok. Belly to face based on Moradam's size. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jacob. And I see Sitok doing the right thing, not giving uh, Moradam a break or a breather, just keeping him hitting all the time. Oh, very impressive. Because Moradam only needs one second to chop your balls off. <laughs> it's true. Oh, and a nice Hurricane Rana turning this thing on its head. Zetok's suddenly in trouble. He'd done really well, and he, he really hadn't taken much damage, but maybe he wants to find that tag again in a moment because he's going to fly. Whoa. Yeah, k oh. screaming for the tag. He was so close as well. Cocky stomping him down at the last second. Oh! oh Brilliant flexibility. And there goes Cocky. Okay, in trouble all this fight. Now PTK enters the ring. There's nobody there to meet him. No. Oh. Good evening, good Keep rest. Oh, okay. what, what a maneuver by Koki. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. <laughs> oh, stop, baby. Glorious PTK. Lovely tagging from uh, Moradam and Cocky over and over again. This is the kind of thing that have won them match after match that kept them champion for just such an incredibly long time. Yeah, unbelievable. Part, yeah. 
Do you know a count out win is still a win? BTK does get tired. We're only on about four, but he's not really moving. <laughs> he's not, is he? Oh my god. <laughs> he's been down for that long Attack time. again! <laughs> Out of pure boredom. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> 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 what a domination by Cockball Sordor here. What absolute domination. Beating the game. An absolutely embarrassing performance. <laughs> this is the Dacker. <laughs> the Dacker gone wrong from beating. <laughs> Highlight, what a highlight that we watch here. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> it was the highlight of the match to be fair. <laughs> PTK, PTK trying to go to overtime, you know. <laughs> he wanted to preserve the equity. <laughs> at least, at least he's the greatest ever at something. Yeah. Perfect, oh. perfect turn 16 is tall. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, Cockerball Torture turning it around. They're back on the road to the titles, baby. <laughs> oh, man. They just find ways to win that nobody else even thinks of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, literally boring shit. DFW, where the incredible happens every single night. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what's going to happen or what isn't going to happen next. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very good point. He had, he, had, he had escaped ball shots to that point, so... <laughs> yeah. So yeah. maybe he just thought better of it. Now... Took, his, took his balls and went home. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now the main event everybody's been waiting for. The living dead versus the dead living. <laughs> Night Demon versus Tony plays poorly. Yeah, Tony coming out of coming out of uh, retirement for the SummerSlam match versus Night Demon. Then he's fought Rick last week, and now this week he's fighting Night Demon again. Unbelievable, unbelievable post-retirement run from Tony. <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe SummerSlam would be a one-off, especially with how it went. But no, here he is for the third time, and to be honest. He shook off the ring rust up quite well, didn't he? And, and gave Rick a real fight. I genuinely thought Rick might be retired last week. Yeah. You see, this is it. The Tony plays poorly coming back. Clearly, he needs the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've just, I've just had Mr. Jim McMahon in my earpiece there, and he says that if, uh, if Night Demon wins this, he'll be able to choose the stipulation for the Extreme Rules match versus Rick. Oh, oh. So there you go. Champion chooses. Jim's a man always giving favours to Night Demon. <laughs> yeah, despite Night Demon's attempted murder of Mr. Jim's man. <laughs> I guess he just hates Rick that much after after that vicious assault last week. <laughs> you know, maybe, you know, uh, he respects people that tries to kill him. Yeah. Probably. Good effort, good effort. <laughs> Probably he's a bit of a mad lunatic, isn't he, uh, Mr. Jim? <laughs> Here comes you know, Tony getting no, ready for the match of his life. Or better say, the last and match of his defend. life. <laughs> I will defend. Oh man, what's this? Try to make it little by little, try to make it bit by bit with lemon. What you gonna tell Teresa? Oh, oh, oh. What you gonna oh, tell Jim Jay? I don't know Jay dressed for business. Shaping it up for the title, baby. The Get dressed for business, shaping it up for the belt. Glorious. Thank you very much, Fanfo. I really don't understand what that was. <laughs> but thank you very much for staying fantastic for 21 glorious months. Oh yeah. Say supporting Tony plays poorly. Probably they went together to the same school. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! 
I mean, let's not forget that Night Demon feeds on the life force of his opponents, but Tony has none of that, so... <laughs> See, thank you, Fox. I don't think I've ever heard that, but I'll Google it afterwards. <laughs> oh. Well, fun, Fox. You're very, very, very optimistic, expecting people to know, you know, rock set lyrics here. <laughs> I was wondering if it was Mr. Brownstone by Guns N' Roses, fan Fox. I was trying to put uh, that to it, so I'm glad you've, <laughs> you've told us which it is. Oh, typical strong start from Night Demon. Tony needs to get off some offense early or this could be a very very quick match indeed he didn't oh and a great counter by tony oh my god boy howdy tony you should the experience oh my god <laughs> hardly lasted at all at SummerSlam. he's going to want to put in a much much better performance here tonight and of course if he could beat the champion he, he might be next in line after extreme rules and that will mean that will be rick the one choosing the stipulations for the extreme rules match yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Is that is that right? Yeah. Well, if, it, so. well if Nav Demon wins, he gets to pick. So if he loses, he doesn't pick. So who else is going to pick? Maybe yeah. Tony. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. T oh, that'll be fantastic. i 100% behind that. 619? <laughs> oh, what? maybe. What? Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, it's the old dick to the back. <laughs> A staple of Tony's repertoire. <laughs> and hello, Peppered Biscuit. Glorious to see you. All in a night demon. That's that's not a bad shout, but, you know, Tony is the greatest of all time, as Mr. Jim said last week. Oh, elbow to the gut. I thought he was in trouble with the left and right to night demon. Oh, and night demon does counter back. Oh! oh night demon now back in control here. Yes, I scream off the air. Oh my god. I never oh know how. Oh my god. Oh like my that. god. Otherworldly strength, and that could be it. No, there is still a fight in that body. Not much else, but there is still a fight. <laughs> well, there's some donuts in there, probably. <laughs> and and oh, yeah. a maximum of one kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a one count for Tony. That doesn't bode well, and a great arm drag takedown by Night Demon. Into a double underhook suplex. Tony struggling. Night Demon really wanting to pick the stipulation. What do we reckon Night Demon would pick? Has he shown a favorite stipulation in the past? Is he biting? Yes, he was biting the hand of Tony. Jesus. Zombie! The zombie! Oh. Goodbye, Tony. <laughs> Boy. You truly played poorly. Oh, no! Oh, no! Incredible! Way. He is getting better. He is getting better week on week. Tony finds a little bit more. How on earth he fights back from this, though? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, I'm probably that answer the question Can a rotter become a zombie? The answer is not yet. <laughs> Night Demon staring evil holes through Tony. I think he's feeling pity for uh, Tony. <laughs> yeah, There's like some some oh, sadness no in, in the posture of uh, Night Demon. Like, oh my God. Every time Tony moves, Night Demon just kicking him back down again with disdain. And then eventually, oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh, he must be dead. All of his weight on his neck. Whoa. <laughs> Whoop, that was even quicker. I can't believe Tony wants to keep in this, but this is definitely it now. Zombie number two. Tony already dead to right. No! Oh, he's counted it! He's counted it! Tony! Oh, he's got a stunner! Oh my goodness! Tony for the win! Tony for the win! Oh my god, Tony! Stunner! 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 One! Two! Oh. Oh, oh, so close! <laughs> So close! <laughs> oh man, Tony rolling back the years with a stunner. Oh, the clotheslines! Night Demon legitimately in a lot of trouble here. Tony taking his time. 
Oh, too Big long. mistake. Night Demon swinging for the gut. He can't miss. This is on oh. bay. No, Tony counters again. Oh, he oh. counters again. Oh, he another stutter. stutter. Another stutter. This is actually it. Tony is actually beating Night Demon. He is oh. actually beating Night Demon. Rick picks the stipulation. Rick picks the stipulation. Tony is the number one, one contender. Two. Oh, oh, my oh my god. What? Oh, what? Two stars. Tony absolutely angry raging here. Nobody in the history of wrestling is kicked out of two stunners. <laughs> no, I'm sure that's true. Oh, no. Tony not quite sure, just stomping a hole into Night Demon now, because wh what are you supposed to do if two stunners doesn't finish your opponent? What are you supposed to do? Well, keep punching him in the face, but now <laughs> Night Demon coming back, he's struggling, but still finding some fight there. down on Tony's neck. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, PC, I agree. Third stunner, yeah, that yeah. Might, might have to be it, but that's easier said than done, because there might well be a zombie in between, and I'm not even sure he's kicking out of that. Holy crud. Yep. I think Tony, time to go to the farm. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> How often Night do you Demon, I've absolutely lost it. Wow. Okay. Go for the third zombie. Exactly. Zombie. Yeah. And this oh, time he hits. And that's great it. effort from Tony. But Night Demon picks the <laughs> My God. What? What is going on? What is actually going on? Oh, boy. Tony back to his best. Oh, fuck off, Night Demon. <laughs> oh, Night Demon in control now. Trying to get him, and now, yes. <laughs> PC. Oh, <dear. laughs> oh. It's amazing how much the five moves of Doom fucking just pisses me off, to be honest. <laughs> I don't mind, I don't even mind the uh, few and that, but God, the uh, combo. Tony, what a fight he's put up. He's I finally done. Okay. He's finally done. Absolutely oh, epic fight. Tony was very good or Night Demon was very bad. <laughs> I mean, I think they were just both great, weren't they? That was just unbelievable. Yes, they were absolutely great. Tony, you know, outperforming all expectations. It's so hard to counter the Zombie and he found two. Like, it's just literally unheard of. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> Incredible Tony story. sacrificing himself here to teach Rick the way to beat Night Demon. <laughs> yeah. well, there you go, Night Demon wins and Night Demon picks the stipulation. I mean, it's going to be something extreme, but who knows what it's going to be. Incredible stuff from Night Demon. Oh god, the referee's died. <laughs> <laughs> Night Demon is pretty much unstoppable, yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff from Night Demon. And, uh, wow. A scary, a scary, scary prospect for Rick on Sunday. This coming Sunday at Extreme Rules. Well, that's all we've got for uh, Monday Night Cloth. Thank you so much, Rick and Faimi. Absolutely amazing as always. Thank you very, very much, guys. Well, thanks absolutely. for having me here. Oh, it's God. always a pleasure to be back, to be able to witness this absolutely incredible event that happened tonight. Cool. Yep, that was that was awesome. Um, the, yeah, the build has got me so excited now for Extreme Rules. I can't wait for Sunday. Oh, yeah. And thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.